Hello everyone, this is Destiny out here at County Line Campers in Gulfport, Mississippi. Today we are checking out a 2022 Lance 2075. This one here is an all season camper. We have an enclosed underbelly with tank heaters. This Lance product is top of the line. They really have some European inspiration uh, finishes. I can't wait to get through and show you everything this unit has to offer. Let's check it out. So starting with a quick view of the exterior, I've got a few compartments opened up. We've got all the lights turned on. This is an overview of what we are looking at. So let's check out some details. Starting right here at the very front. I love the large skylight window they have. And this is going to be a full fiberglass front piece. We also extend all the way up. The roof is one solid piece, which is really great. We've got a little bit of separation in the cap right here. This one is going to provide that extra protection to prevent rocks from coming and dinging up the fiberglass. I love the LED detail we have right here. And check this out. We've got good secure latches right over the propane. So we have this full cap that latches right here. We can fully remove that to access our two large propane tanks. When you purchase here at County Line, we do fill those up for you. This provides nice secure latching while towing. We are on our smart jack. This right here has the hitch height memory. You can set it so that way it always remembers what you're hooking up to. It has the recalling hitch height memory, tells you exactly how to auto retract and the little sequences needed. All right here, you can check your battery. We have our seven way and our chains. Moving along to this side, on each side of the unit, you will find compartments for your batteries. I love that they're right here in the drawer. You can pull right out, easy to access. We are prepped for a generator in the event you would like to add one. They've got the straps included. This is a great compartment just for storage in the event you do not wish to add a generator. Lance also has these slam latches, really great handles that lock in place. You can drop them. They're also on the magnetic latches, making it really easy just to pop them straight into place. We do have our power stabilizer jacks right here. Next to that, we have a toy lock so you can lock up the bikes, whatever you may need. Over here, we have another compartment for some extra storage kind of hidden right here under the carriage. These are gonna be the double pane dark tinted windows. You can see right here, very nice privacy added. Coming over to our tires, we have our beautiful alloy wheels and then the Road Armor trailer suspension. This has a nice spacing on it and gives you more stability as you are towing. And I just think those rims look really nice. Right over here, we have an access panel for the Truma hot water heater. More on that once we get inside. Here is another storage compartment. Got over here. Again, those slam latches. We are on a 30 amp, 125 ground right here. This is gonna be for your portable drinking water in the event you'd like to dry camp. This is your black tank flush to keep that black tank nice and cleaned out. And then you've got your ability to hook up to the cable at the park. We have a hot and cold shower right here. Very nice and accessible at the back end of the camper. Coming around to the back, this is very impressive. We have a little outdoor kitchenette area. So starting right here, this does fully extend. So you are able to slide that right back into place. We have the two burner stove and a sink. We can just fold it down like so. You have a little storage drawer for the utensils needed. Right back here is your water line to hook up the sink, so you do have the access to do that. And then your grill is already set and ready to go. When you are ready to put it away, you are just going to push these two blue levers down and slide it back into place. Tucks nicely right there. We've got some storage right under here and a little Dometic cooler on the drawer. It does have your settings right here for how cool you'd like to keep it. We have our bumper, which is the great place to store the hoses. So you can put your um, sewer hose right in the bumper, little industry tip for you. Over here, we do have the tow hookup. This has 130 pounds on it. This would be great for a bike rack, little cargo rack. Right here, again, the magnetic latch. When we are done using our outdoor grill area, these are just going to lock in place. 
in the event it's a little bit too sunny like today or maybe a little bit of rain look at this they have an awning that can extend over the back side of the camper so not only are you getting an awning to cover the full side of this one we've got it along the back i think that's a really great feature got a large double pane window again and look at this we are already set up and ready to go with a backup camera it's all set and included for you i love the led docking lights we've got a real sharp look back here okay moving along to the main entrance again we have that large automatic awning i love how the the handlebars are up at the top they're not running along the side it keeps the arms out of the way so you don't have to worry about walking into them or them taking up space down here in the entertainment area if we peek on top we do actually have some solar panels up there as well as a little cargo rack so you are able to stash some items right on top again we've got our large windows as i mentioned in my intro this is the four season comfort technology so we've got the fully enclosed underbelly you're going to be able to take this wherever you go now these glow step revolution aircraft grade aluminum steps these are super durable and i love the little adjustable pedestals we have this allows you to heighten this for any terrain and then gives you a real solid step right here on bottom we've got the little flap and they fold right in and under the carriage we have our extra large grab handle right here and when you are ready to prop that door open here is your latch and a stopper coming right over here we are set up to hook up a television if you'd like to do so here is some chargers and outlets over here we have our portable drinking water so you can fill up in the event you would like to dry camp you can fill it up right there over here we have our lever to dump out the portable drinking water when you're ready to flush it or in the event you did not use it you can flush it easily now check out this storage compartment it's on the fully extending drawer right here easy to go in and out keeps you nice and organized Lance is also going to include this large picnic table. Check that out. And it's got a specific spot to store it. Again, we are on those slam latches, which lock into place. They have their magnetic clips, of course. And right here, we do have our other battery hookup. I've got my jump box set up to that. And we are all prepped. If you want to add a solar panel right here to the side, we do have our solar inverter. The control panel right inside i will show you more of that in just a moment all right i'm so excited to get inside and show you some interior features opening up the door we have a very durable door casing we've got a little spot for our magazine racks but my favorite part is they have included this sliding screen door so in a beautiful day like today you can leave all the windows opened up and leave that door open Okay, let's check out some more. All right, coming along to the inside, I like to give a quick overview of the floor plan. What's really great about this unit is we have no slides, but it really doesn't feel that way. It feels perfectly spacious and open. This bedroom back here is my favorite. We have so much walkability around the bed. Again, you just do not feel like you are in a no slide unit. It's a truly perfect uh, space utilizing camper that they have designed. Okay, let's get into some details because we have a lot to go over. Starting right here at the entryway. This is really neat. We have a little privacy night shade that you can put over the window. We have a spot to stash your keys. Up here we have our in command control. We've got the touch screen allowing us to keep track of the fresh black and gray your battery and the water pump. We have some awning controls right here, the nice accents above the windows. We've got the vinyl and the fabric right here, looks real sharp. Over here, we are able to control our lighting, but there also is a really neat feature with some of the lights on here to where you can control them individually. So if you wanna leave some on, some off, you are able to do so. Moving over to our dinette area, not only can this convert and uh, the table lower down on this telescopic pedestal right here, you would then spread your cushions over. This would make a great 40 by 80 sleeping booth, 
But the cool thing is if you're trying to climb in and out of the booth, you can move this table out, in, push it over, and look at how accessible it is to get in and out of this U-shaped booth. Another great thing I love is in the event you like to sit here and work on the laptop or work from the camper, we do have all of the charging ports, USB and outlets right here at the feet so you can easily turn this into a great workstation. Now probably my favorite thing with the Lance is the amount of windows we have in this unit. Seriously, when we get back to the bedroom is really impressive, but even right here in this little space, all these windows fully open and extend. So not only do they have their bug screens, we also have our nightshades so you can get your privacy. You can separate them and right here, fully open up these windows and they're gonna stay in place right here on these struts. Now, something I think is pretty neat is they do have the option to do a half close on them. So you can lock them in place while still leaving ventilation. So if you're gonna be gone from your camper all day, but it's a nice day and you don't wanna leave all the windows wide open, you can leave them all open on the half um, latch and it's still secured because nobody can come and just pull up on the windows. You are gonna have that feature on every single one of them as if all these windows, fully opening windows with the option with all their bug screens to let in some fresh air was not enough, check out this massive skylight. This is really neat because it also is going to easily open. It's going to let in so much fresh air. You could probably crawl out of that. <laughs> it is so large. In the event though, it's bringing in too much heat, too much sun, they did think to include the nightshade right here so you can black that out and keep it nice and cool in the unit. Another great thing is they've got the Velcro little buttons right here. This keeps those pesky cushions from sliding and falling forward. You're gonna find that on all of those. But now looking overhead to this European inspired design, look how beautiful all this cabinetry is. So these are on the super duty hinges, which also allow for soft clothes. You're gonna find soft clothes on all of the cabinetry and the drawers in this unit. Extra large pool handles right here and the LED lighting on every single cabinet. And we've got this adjustable shelf right here. You can take out those pegs and open this up in the event you need more space. Also utilizing the little space there in the corner. Again, the LED lighting, I think it's just a nice, stunning, updated feature. You don't have to go digging around um, in dark cabinets and you don't have to turn on all the lights here in the main area to access them and also those soft close hinges, perfect. So we do have little corner ledges. I think it's nice they utilize those. We've got them in both corners, but along this backside, we have a very large solid surface countertop. And over here, look at this, not only nice little storage with some outlets and some charging ports, but look at this hinge, which means a built-in wine holder. You do not have to worry about shaking around the bottles as you are towing. They have a little sp spot to stash your wine, which I think is super neat. Coming over here to this control panel, we have a little nook in here where you can plug up the uh, cable. But this right here, we've got the JBL stereo system and we have a subwoofer right down here. So the sound is going to be amazing in this unit. We have our little sub level adjuster right here. This is going to allow you to not only control everything from this JBL, but you also get a portable JBL speaker that you can carry with you. Take it outside while you're grilling and cooking. Uh, take it out by the campfire. You can sync up to Bluetooth on this and then just take that portable speaker with you wherever you go. Right over here, we have our iNet ready. This is for the Truma hot water heater. Look at this, all digitized. You're able to tell it when you are traveling on the go. You are able to go turn it on. We've got eco mode, hot, and boost all right here from the control panel. Is this neat or what? So whenever you're ready to take the shower, you are ready to hook up to the Truma 
and set it for exactly what you need. We've got some storage right over here. Again, those extra large grab handles. We have our fully extending drawers, utilizing every little angle that we can in this unit. And check out these adjustable shelves. They've got the bracket all the way down, so you can uh, put them wherever is needed. We have our entertainment right here. This is going to be on the fully extending bracket, so you can take it out, face it to the booth, turn it around, face it over towards the bedroom area if you would like, and it does lock in place. We've got another uh, 12 volt and outlet USB chargers, HDMI, and we are on the King Boost antenna. You are able to raise up this antenna and it's going to boost your signal for the television. Put it up, put it down whenever it's in use. The little extra storage cubby right here. So if you're charging up those cell phones, you can stash them right there. We have our vinyl flooring going throughout the whole floor of the camper, including your storage compartments on the exterior. Moving over to our kitchenette. Again, we're going to have those uh, hefty duty brackets to allow us to fully open the cabinetry and they will be on the soft close. We've got the LED lighting. Here is our microwave, a little cubby right there to stash some bread. This is a very good, decent sized microwave. And we've got some cubbies in storage right over here. The undermounted LED and look at this countertop again, solid surface. We can see those European inspired, inspired finishes like this stainless steel bowl sink. We've got the residential matte black faucet with the sprayer options right here. A lot of times you'll see uh, campers just put in like a sticker backsplash. This one actually is going to be a little bit more durable. Love the texture design through here. And look at this good clean seal met with the countertop. Just quality all around. I love that they put the glass here to provide some extra countertop, but when you are ready to start cooking, we have our double burner gas stove. Here is an outlet and fully extending drawers. No digging halfway in the back trying to get the spatula. You are able to access every single nook and cranny and soft close. This one is large enough to store some pots and pans, good deep size, and again, soft close. Coming down here, we have our safe alert for the carbon monoxide and propane gas alarm. And we have our breaker box right there. Here are some lights for the galley right here. This is our switch to turn our 12 volt refrigerator on or off. Here is a look at the Norcold refrigerator. Good, decent size. We've got three levels and an adequate sized freezer. Right up here is that solar battery checker I was telling you about. This is going to allow you to keep track of how you are looking for your solar batteries. Stashed underneath the fridge, we have another a deep drawer. Really great, stashed some snacks, and we've got the soft clothes right there. Overhead, we have our Coleman Mac AC. Not only do you have the option to do a quick dump by opening and closing these levers right here, this allows all the air to dump in this one spot. When you're ready to force it through the air ducts like central AC, you wanna make sure those are closed. And then you have your vents through the roof of the camper. And again, you can you have the option to individually close those or you can fully open them, whatever you need. Moving back to our bedroom area. Again, look at the walkability around this camper in this bed. The storage back here is also impressive and the windows. Look how large these windows are. It feels like you're in a house or something. It has just such great luxurious features and it feels super residential. We have our bug screen and these are going to fully extend. Let me just show you. These are um, doubling as the emergency exit. So in the event you are locked in the back end of the camper, nobody will have a problem getting out of this. I just love that. And again, you've got the half latch if you want to leave the bedroom vented but don't want to um, have anyone crawling through the windows, they did think of that half latch. You've got the large skylight one over there and then the other one over here. Now we do have a privacy curtain, so if you've got someone sleeping up in the booth area, you can close this curtain, give you some extra privacy. 
You do have another television right in here. This is going to be on the extended bracket. We do have it latched in place right now. When you're traveling, you can easily just pull this latch down, unlock it, and now you are able to pull it and adjust it to whatever is needed. We have more storage cubbies right under here and all the way down. Moving along to each side of the bed, we've got the fully extending drawers, built-in end tables, solid surface countertops, your charging ports, and your um, outlets. Check this out, we have very deep wardrobes, so you can actually have space to hang the items, and you've got the arch back there to stash some in the back and allow the clothes to not come bulging out the front. We have a little shelf above here, add some home decor or some clothing items. Over on this side, you will have the wardrobe and the same fully extending drawer. But we've got some added switches. You've got the LED lighting. This does control both sides. So whoever's in charge of the LED lighting gets to sleep on this side because they've got the switch. We've got our chargers, our outlets, and our battery monitoring for the Go Power. This is going to allow you to keep track of everything if you're working, camping off of the battery right here in the bed. You can check and make sure you're not going to lose your battery life in the middle of the night. Coming over here, we have little individual LED lights. You can leave the blue light on or a reading light, and they are adjustable, so you can position yourself however in bed and adjust your light accordingly. This is going to be a queen size bed. You do get your little comforter, super comfy, but check out this. Easy lift storage right underneath the bed and check out all the goodies. There is that portable speaker I was telling you about. Right here we've got some extra decor items and vinyl covers. There's a look at that Voyager observation camera. This will go in the truck. This is already mounted to the back. Right here is an access for the in command. I love that they don't have that stashed and stored outside. You are able to access it as needed straight from the bedroom. Now, right overhead, you do have your exhaust fan. You can turn this on, open it up. This is the Dometic fan. You get some air flowing straight back through. Okay, so that is a look with everything open. I'm gonna close these nightshades just to show you how great it is. You can black this out on a nice sunny day. All right, here's a look at everything tightened and closed up. I am ready to take a nap. Okay, lastly, let's check out the bathroom area. We've got a lot of features in here. First, that vinyl flooring is gonna carry, of course, throughout the whole unit. We have a porcelain toilet. Not only is this easier to keep clean, durable, and it just helps add to that luxurious feeling. And look at this, they've included everything already mounted to the walls. So, don't have to worry about where you're stashing the toilet paper, your hand towel, and they've even got your shower rack right here. There's a look at our exhaust fan. We've got the AC and the lighting, our vanity cabinet, some storage right in there. And look at this, how adorable. Definitely seeing that European inspiration. We have our bowl sink, matte black faucet, and more storage right underneath here. Our toilet is up on a little bit of a ledge. Tall people rejoice. You've got the extra leg room. Moving along, we've got our lights to control the ceiling and the vanity, but this right here is where all the action is at. There's so much stashed in here. Not only do we have our extra heighted skylight, we've got this U bracket, which allows the curtain to open a little bit wider. So when you are inside the shower, you have that extra space. We've got this built-in curtain right here on the pool system. So we've got this bar mounted so you can raise and lower the sprayer to whatever you need it at. So if you wanna hit the water just right here, if you wanna take it way up here, it slides right on this bracket, but you also can have it just freehand right there. Move it and adjust it as needed. We've got a few different 
uh, controls right here, a spot to put the soap. But this right here is the shower miser. This is a water saving system. So as you know with camping, the hot water can uh, go pretty quickly. This allows you to save it. So once you are in the shower, you get wet, it's time to lather up. A lot of times there's a button up here to pause the water. Well, with that, that's allowing the water still to fill all the way up and into the actual shower head, stopping it way up here. What the shower miser does is it stops it coming straight from the wall. So you are able to flip this to turn it off and on, and it basically allows you to pause the water. They have found that this saves up to 40% without changing tanks or adding weight. So you're saving up to 40%. Um, you are able to take more advantage of the hot water in your unit and not waste as much. That comes in handy if you are dry camping and you only have so much portable water. You do have 45 gallon tanks on this unit. This helps you utilize every single drop of water that you can, again, by stopping it right here instead of allowing it to flow all the way up and sitting and holding up in the shower head. And that is a recap of the shower and the bathroom. So that was a look at our 2022 Lance 2075 coming in at just under 6,000 pounds dry weight. Y'all coming out to 12131 Bernard Parkway in Gulfport, Mississippi, Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6. Come see us anytime. We'd love to show you more of the Lance products. We have a few more floor plans on the lot. When you think camping, think County Line Campers.